Hi everyone and welcome to the 15th lecture of the tree series. In this lecture, I'll be discussing the problem fixed length path one. Now the problem says you're given a tree consisting of n nodes. Your task is to count the number of distinct paths that consist of exactly k edges. This is the sample tree given. In this tree, you want to count the number of paths consisting of exactly let's say two edges. Firstly, from two to three. This path would consist of just two edges. Then from the first node till the fourth node. Then from the first till the fifth. And lastly, from the fourth till the fifth node. Total number of paths are four. That consists of only two edges. Right. Now to solve this problem, we will be using central decomposition. Which I explained in the previous lecture, and this would be a continuation of that. Firstly, say we have a tree that we are rooting at the centroid of the particular tree. Let's say use the centroid and v1, v2, v3, and so on are its children. Also, I'm maintaining a count array that shows the number of Nodes at a particular depth d. Let's say now I have a node at d depth. Now the number of paths that this particular node would be contributing in this tree noted at the centroid u would be count k minus d. Right. This path. Is one passing through the u node, and then we can add this to our answer. Now, once we have done this for the u node, we can break this tree into all its subtrees. So v1, v2, v3, and v4 all will become independent trees, and then we can find the center of these and continue our process. Now, obviously, every time we do this, our size, the size of the particular tree that we are processing, reduces by half. Thus, this will be, or the number of layers of this would be log of n, and each layer would take about big O of n computations. So this would become our total time complexity, that is n into log n. Now let us look at the code. Firstly, we run the central decomposition for the first node. This would firstly run the DFS to find the subtree sizes. And the particular node. This would firstly set this as the this as one, and then for all the children, it will add the, their subtree sizes. Next, we find the centroid uh, for this particular tree in this function, like we did in the previous problem, and then firstly for depth zero, we it as one because the root or the centroid will be at depth zero, and then for all the children, we firstly find the count array here for each depth. We increment this, and then we find the uh, increment the answers, and then we will do this for all the children, and then we will run the central decomposition function for all the children. So that's it. Make sure you subscribe and share this video. Thank you for watching.